Miss Hayes, let's talk about him as a director. What kind of a director is George Abbott? Um, he's a no-nonsense director, and he's of the period of theater and the kind of theater that I grew up in, that I learned my my trade in, and that I uh, that I respect and trust. It's um, it's the old school of theater, not the new school of. Uh, of inspiration and inner emotions and what is it, emotional memories and all those things they work with. This was just learning your job and doing it right. Yes. In that theater of his. And his direction, I remember once when a director was the director of uh, Skin of Our Teeth, the thing that we acted in together, uh, after a rehearsal would call each of us down to the auditorium where he sat with a, with a stenographer, a, a, the secretary was, and he would uh, have a, a secret whispered to conference with each of us with his notes. The stenographer would give him a note at, at a time, and he would he would talk to us about whatever he'd seen in our performance that he wanted to comment on. And George was just furious. He said, what's so shameful about being directed? <laughs> Why does he have to call us down there and do it all in the dark when he whispers? Yes. And George was the kind who would say, no, not that way. Uh, to try that scene again and do it with more of whatever, oompa, with more of emotion, with more, with lighter or something, whatever way he would say it. He would just let you have it right there over the footlights. Yes. And um, and I trust that, and I liked it. And it, it was the kind of guidance that I could understand. And is he the kind of director uh, that allows his actors a great deal of freedom, or is, is he kind of a, a disciplinarian? That's a poser. Um, I don't think I ever felt limited by George when, I was, uh, when he was directing me. I, don't, I know I didn't. I felt absolutely free with him. Yes. And uh, so I don't, uh, I don't, but then I, I think he's very disciplined. He won't stand for any highfalutin nonsense from, uh, from his actors. What I'm trying to say is that he's awfully against uh, the new, what is it, uh, the... Uh, the method actor, you mean? Method, uh, yes. Yes. That sort of thing. He's very, very different from that, and he was uh, very opposed to anything like that. So, so you yourself, as an actress, you don't uh, subscribe to the so-called Stanislavski method, do you? Well, not as it was interpreted here. I see. Uh, the Stanis I read Stanislavski's books, and uh, I don't think that we got off to the same... Well, it's not the same, really. Yes. Uh, it's a kind of, I think, li limiting and lazy... Uh, of acting. You do? Interesting. Well, hmm. because they don't take the trouble to find out how you do a thing. What, what they do is learn how uh, to, to feel a thing, how to remember some emotion that is akin to what they're trying to do, uh, what, what is the, the role calls for. All right, so they get that memory going, but they've neglected to find out how to, to propel that across the footlights to the audience how to express it so that the audience shares that emotion with them. Yes. It's just an inner thing, and it's selfish, and it's lazy, because you have to learn not only to have this, to understand the emotion, but you have to learn how to, how to express it so that, it's, so that you're sharing it with the audience. Sure. And I, I just never could understand what they were mumbling about up there. And uh, I... I personally have never been in sympathy with it. Yes. But we old-timers weren't apt to be. We don't like to be startled by something new, I guess. That's right. And if you recall, there was something called the group theater that formed in the 30s. And mm, pe I certainly do. People like Harold. Harold Getz and, and uh, well, it was from there that the, the, the actor studio came. That's right. Yeah. And did you ever have take direction by Harold Clerman or Elia Kazan? Oh, yes, I did, with both of them. With both? Mm -hmm. And how did you find Harold Clerman? People always think he was great. Well, unfortunately, I got into kind of a little tangle with Harold. But he, we ended good friends, and Harold seemed to admire me and uh, be very fond of me. He, was, he made a couple of very uh, good speeches, very 
complimentary speeches about me. Yes.